questions on them. There were some good questions. Ranging from apartheid to... Um, My political views. Baking. To baking. Mm. To thoughts on uh, the various things. Total goal. Yeah. We're going to address the ones that are appropriate to training. Not apartheid. And the, not apartheid. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. So, two minute clock. This won't start until Alan's asked me the question and then I'll start the timer. So, feel free to chip in, by the way, during this two minutes. I've only got two minutes there. Okay. Ask the question first. So first question this in no question, particular order. This question, I think, came from... We Don't are, have to say. Okay. I want to keep them anonymous. Okay. This came from Anon. Anon. Yeah. Anon. So, so ask the question. So when should you scale a workout? Mm-hmm. Is there a case for overscaling a workout? Up. You mean upscaling? All right. Upscaling. Overscaling and upscaling is the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Two, two, one. Okay. So, um, how we, I generally program, traditionally in CrossFit, people will program for the best of the best and then they'll scale down. I don't tend to do that. I tend to, for group classes, I'll program for more like the intermediate person so I know I can scale down and scale up for people. Because I think sometimes psychologically in the past, when it was always the, the hardest possible thing on the board and then, and then you scale down, Sometimes that's so unachievable, it makes people feel a bit shit about themselves all the time. So I can go middle of the road, I can scale down, I can scale up. I think knowing when to scale down or scale up based upon the workout of the day, and they change day to day, is you should have, you should do two things. One, you should have constant communication with your coach or the coach in the class based upon what the workout is, your capabilities, and having a discussion about whether you need to scale it down from what is written or scale it up, okay? Because sometimes it's easy to just take the easier option when you know you need to be pushed. Sometimes people push it a bit too hard and they need to go down. So the first thing, constant communication with your coach. Uh, second thing is have a bit of self-assessment about, about what you're capable of and, and start taking a bit of ownership for yourself whilst having the constant communication with, with whoever's coach in the class. Look back in your training diary when I've done this sort of movement or workout previously. What have I used load-wise? Um, was it too easy? Was it too difficult? Do I need to regress? Do I need to progress? Um, obviously, it's going to change in terms of loadings, complexity of exercises, um, um, height on boxes, for example. Um, but the main thing you're trying to get in yeah. 20 seconds is yeah. what dose response you said. Yeah. Uh, you, you, yeah. Your key is you want to try and get the dose response, protect the stimulus of the workout to make sure you get what you need out of that workout. Wow. Okay, for that, some questions. Got it. 